Om Shanti 21st March 2023 English Murli Essence Sweet children, God has come to give all the devotees the fruit of their devotion to show them the destination of liberation and liberation in life. You devotees have now become heirs. In brackets, the children. Question, in which awareness should you children remain so that the drums of happiness continue to beat in your hearts? Answer, always have the awareness that the most beloved Baba has come to make you into the masters of the world and emperors of emperors. You are now becoming Sun Dynasty kings and queens. Baba is making you ever healthy and wealthy for 21 births. Everything will be first class in your golden aged kingdom. Even the elements will be Satopradhan. Both souls and bodies will be beautiful like flowers. By your having this awareness, the drums of happiness will continue to beat in your hearts. Om Shanti You children know that the father is the resident of the supreme abode. That father himself says to you children, You are no longer devotees. You are now the children of God. Devotees continue to look for God. Devotees cannot be called God. There are innumerable devotees and only one God. Devotees are human beings and so surely God too has to come in a human form. It is said that God comes to you while you sit at home. Whose home? The home of human beings. God definitely has to adopt a human form. The incorporeal Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul is one. Whereas there are many devotees, all human beings are devotees at this time and they remember God. They believe that God definitely has to come at some point. He is the creator of heaven and so there must definitely be only one of him. There cannot be many. God comes in a human form and explains to devotees, for half a cycle you have been remembering me. According to the drama, they definitely have to remember him on the path of devotion. Then I, God, adopt a human form and come to the devotees. Devotees are human beings and so I have to meet human beings. Therefore, I surely have to adopt a human form, not that of a fish or an alligator. Father says, I come and give you children my introduction. No one can reach the end of me. This is why I myself come and give you my introduction and tell you that I have come. You children know that the father comes and adopts a human body. He also explains which devotee's body he enters. This Brahma is the greatest devotee of all. There isn't just one devotee. He tells you the account of all the old devotees, the ancient deities who exist in the golden age, then go on to the path of devotion and begin their devotion. So, they are the oldest devotees of all. They are the ones who have performed full devotion. They are the ones who have come to meet God and attain the deity status. They come and meet Him personally. You know that you were devotees. The whole world is one of devotees. God has come to protect the devotees because they are very unhappy. Devotees don't know where there is peace or happiness. God comes and explains, when I come, I come with a gift for the children. The unlimited father would definitely come with an unlimited gift. You understand that you are no longer devotees. God has come and made you his heirs. Devotees are not heirs. They don't believe that they are children or that they have to claim their inheritance from the father. They say that he is omnipresent and so 
where could God come from? You now definitely need the inheritance and this is why you remember me. You need a first class inheritance, not second or third class. All devotees remember God in order to go and meet Him. However, they don't know how they can go to Him. Therefore, God has to come here. He also teaches you. You know that God has come to give everyone the fruit of their devotion, that is to make everyone happy. Only at this time does God have to come. The spiritual guide. In fact, the true pilgrimage places of human beings are the lands of liberation and liberation in life. The non-living images of the deities who used to reside in heaven exist here. People go on pilgrimages to those non-living images. Those are physical pilgrimages. They go on a pilgrimage to the Dilwala temple or the Jagadamba temple, but that is devotion. God comes and liberates you from the stumbling of those pilgrimages. You devotees meet God and so God liberates you from the sorrow of devotion and shows you the right destination. The Father says, I have now come to show all human beings of all religions the correct destination. The real destination is the land of liberation and the land of liberation in life. He takes everyone back to their abode and the land of heaven. It is in the intellects of your children that Baba has come from the supreme abode. Souls have the desire to go to God. Who remembers Him? Souls remember Him with their organs. The Father says, you now have to become soul conscious. Knowledge continues to trickle into your intellects. Truly, Baba has come. According to the drama, He will liberate you children from the sorrow of Ravan and take you back with Him. He has come as our guide. You do not have to come back from the spiritual pilgrimage that you go to. Here they have physical pilgrimages that are temporary. Those non-living pilgrimages come to an end and then all of you go on this pilgrimage. The true pilgrimages are first to the land of liberation and second to the land of liberation in life. In order to go on these pilgrimages, devotees continue to go on physical pilgrimages. After going on physical pilgrimages for birth after birth, you become free from them and go on the spiritual pilgrimage. You won't then have to come back here to this land of death. You will go and sit in the land of liberation and your coming and going will stop. Your coming and going will begin when you go to the golden age. You will become residents of heaven. You know that Baba is making you into residents of heaven. We are preparing to go to heaven. No one in the world knows anything. They are complete Buddhas. There is no benefit in studying the scriptures, etc. This is what you would say in comparison with the present time. Temporary happiness is only a little happiness. There is a lot of difference between a lot of sweetness and a little sweetness. You now understand that you are becoming Sun Dynasty kings and queens. Those people hope to become very wealthy. Wealth is definitely needed because only then can you experience happiness. Together with wealth, you also need health. When you have health and wealth, you have a lot of happiness. In this world, you cannot have both health and wealth. Not a single human being can have this for even one birth. There all of you remain healthy and wealthy for 21 births. There everything is cheap, original and eternal. There will be no need for money. 
instead of money they will use gold coins and things will be first class even the elements will have become sato pradhan and so everything grown from them will also be very good there will be so much pleasure in all the food there drums of happiness should now beat in your hearts the most beloved father has come he says i am your most beloved father you have been remembering me for 63 births he is definitely the beloved that is why you remember him people don't know anything at all baba is making us into emperors of emperors masters of heaven and masters of the world deities are masters of the world but they have been accused falsely from childhood people have accused them so falsely maya makes your intellects 100% fully nonsensical this too is a game in the drama so now the most beloved father says remember me fully so that your sins are destroyed fully become flowers when a soul becomes like a flower he will receive a good body too you are the mother and you are the father whose praise is this when people say that god is in the dogs and cats would you say that they are the mother and father look what people's intellects have become like they show so much splendor that is called the pomp of maya look how much intoxication people have in the kingdom of ravan they don't know anything at all among you too those who imbibe knowledge well become intoxicated if they don't imbibe knowledge then although their faces are those of human beings their characters are like those of monkeys you children understand that you are now following shrimat and making all the human beings of bharat into elevated beings with divine virtues that is we are making bharat into the elevated and divine land of kings only those who have this intoxication would speak in this way whenever you give lectures tell them that you are following shrimat that you are following elevated directions god is the ocean of knowledge and the ocean of bliss and we are following his directions both the yatvas and the kauravas are following ravan's directions whereas we pandavas are following god's shrimat victory is ours shri krishna does not establish heaven it is god the father who establishes it we make bharat elevated no one else can say that they are following god's directions yes they would say that they are doing everything through god's inspiration the father says i enter this body and give you directions so there is no question of inspiration therefore first of all praise the incorporeal one he is the seed of the human world tree he is the ocean of knowledge and the ocean of happiness we are following his directions he is our father who resides in the supreme abode he is the creator of heaven those who know this would sing this praise there has to be only the one who purifies the whole world there wouldn't be a number of them so everyone apart from us is following the directions of ravan we are once again making bharat into the divine rajasthan in brackets land of kings by following shrimat all of those innumerable religions are to be destroyed all of us speakers have experienced this in a practical way we are the children of prajapita brahma you too are this but we are now this in a practical way later on the path of devotion it will be remembered that the supreme father the supreme soul created the human world through brahma those people think that you perhaps became deities instantly but no 
first of all explain how he created brahmans through brahma and then explain the different clans there is no benefit in telling stories or performing dramas you should tell them the father's teachings directly what does the father tell us o oh, sweet children o oh, souls you should tell the whole gathering that you follow shrimati in order to become deities he is teaching us raj yoga the god of the gita is the incorporeal one he enters a corporeal form brahmans emerge through the mouth of prajapita brahma via bks the supreme father the supreme soul has created us through the mouth of brahma we are shri baba's grandchildren you should have the introduction of the bks you souls to our grandchildren of shri baba and children of prajapita brahma you should now explain that this new creation is being created once again so that you can understand that you truly are the grandfather of shiva and the children of brahma we belong to him and this is why our names are brahma kumars and kumaris in the previous cycle too you changed from brahmins to deities then warriors merchants and shudras you have now once again become brahmins you should keep the secrets of the cycle in your intellects very well first of all you should give the full introduction of the father the father has spoken this knowledge to us and we are now relating it to you how the world drama cycle turns and how we become rulers of the globe is knowledge there is no question of weapons it would definitely be human beings who know the history and geography of the world it is definitely necessary to know how the human world cycle turns we listen to the father and we thereby become rulers of the globe if you do want to receive happiness from the unlimited father then make effort the unlimited father is the creator of heaven you receive unlimited happiness from the unlimited father therefore why should you not remember him you are not happy with the inheritances you receive from your physical fathers we receive happiness for 21 births from the unlimited father all the rest is the paraphernalia of the path of devotion you say that the scriptures are original and eternal however even though all of those exist we have now reached the iron age the world continues to become more impure and there has been no benefit the father himself has now come we are his grandchildren and the children of brahma brahmins in fact he is your father too explain very well in this way so that they melt acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bap dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children the spiritual children extend their love remembrance say good morning namaste and thank you to the spiritual bap dada essence for dharana first point remain engaged on the spiritual pilgrimage make both yourself the soul and your body beautiful like a flower have your sins destroyed second point maintain this awareness we are directly following god's directions and are instruments for the service of making bharat elevated and human beings into those who have divine virtues blessing may you be just like a sunflower and constantly in front of and close to the father by always shining in the light of the sun of knowledge explanation a sunflower is constantly in the light of the sun 
it always faces the sun and its petals are in a circle like the sun in the same way the children who stay close to and in front of the sun of knowledge never become distant from him they are like sunflowers that shine in the light of the sun of knowledge and also make others shine slogan be constantly courageous and encourage everyone and you will continue to receive god's help om shanti